that is like mind-blowingly good. <laughs> Today is Friday, so that means it's a fall Friday video. Every Friday, I put out something fall related, and it's usually home decor. This week, we're gonna do something a little different. I am gonna be in the kitchen. So there's actually a hurricane today in South Mississippi. Hurricane Francine is hitting this afternoon, so it's just a rainy, gloomy day. What's better to eat than soups? So I'm gonna show you two very simple soups. It's not really a soup, but it's, it's more of like a one pot meal. Um, so I'm going to be showing you two very simple recipes. So easy that no matter what your skill level is, you can do it. I promise you. I hope that y'all have enjoyed the Fall Friday videos. I certainly have enjoyed it. It's been very fun for me to be creative and I love all things fall. So it's been very fun. So if you like the type of content that I make, please subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends so the word can get around about my channel. I really appreciate it. And there are some very good Fall Friday videos coming up very soon. So you're going to want to stay tuned for those. You can even click the little bell on my channel to get notified every time I post. That way you're not missing any of them. So before we get into cooking, I want to share the two recipes with you. So the first one is a lasagna soup. This is so easy to make. It is so comforting and filling. It seriously takes like no time at all. The next meal I'm going to be sharing with y'all is a butternut squash ravioli bake and that just screams fall. It is going to be so delicious. Okay, it's time to get started with our first recipe, which is the lasagna soup. You're going to start browning your one pound of ground beef and one pound of either ground pork or you could do Italian sausage. I did ground pork and it tasted great. Next, you're going to put in um, onion or some of this seasoning blend. I keep this in my freezer and it worked out just great. Stir that in until it gets nice and soft. Next, you're going to season your meat. I used Slap Your Mama, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, and a little bit of Italian seasoning. You can season it with whatever you like and whatever your preference is. This is just what I used. Next, you're gonna pour in a jar of spaghetti sauce. Once I poured that in, I put a little bit of water in it and shook it up just to get those extra little bits out of it. And I poured that in and stirred everything up and really combined everything. Here I put in the chicken broth. I just kind of eyeballed it, but I think I ended up putting about two and a half cups. Now it's time for the fun part, which is breaking up these lasagna sheets. So they were really tough to break up. I thought they'd be um, a lot thinner. I ended up breaking way more than I expected. I think I broke up around seven or eight sheets of these. I broke up some and then I would stir it everything together and just eyeball it and see if it looked like enough. But I think I ended up breaking about seven or eight of these. At this point, you wanna bring it to a boil, and once it's boiling, you're gonna cover it and turn it on simmer. Let that cook for about 20 minutes until the noodles are soft. Then you're gonna take your heavy cream. I did not film me pouring it in, but I just eyeballed this too, and I think it was around a half a cup of heavy cream. Just do it to your desired thickness and color, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I did. 
Now for the ricotta mixture, I used about two or three tablespoons of this ricotta, a sprinkle of this Italian blend cheese, your Parmesan cheese, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. And this created such a good little top for the lasagna. It was like a bite of freshness with all of the acidity of the soup and it ended up being so delicious. Okay, next we're on to our butternut squash ravioli. And I know this recipe can seem intimidating, but if I can do it, you can do it. So we're gonna start off by making a brown butter. First, you've gotta get your raviolis boiling. So while they're boiling, we're gonna work on this brown butter together. You're gonna melt your butter. I used about a little less than a stick, about seven tablespoons. You're gonna get that all the way melted and your pan needs to be like on medium to high heat. You don't want it too, too hot, but you want it to be able to cook this butter. The secret to a brown butter is to continue to stir and also to make sure that you don't burn it. If you think you've burned it, it's too late. It will be burnt, but just keep stirring and you will get this foamy consistency on top. You will start to see that color. So you're going to want to take it off the heat and let it cool down before you continue cooking. So mine cooled down, then I threw my sage in and I'm stirring that in, incorporating that in and y'all it smelled so delicious at this point. Next, it's time to stir in the chicken broth. I just put in a little at a time until it kind of looked right to me. But don't worry, I have all of the exact measurements I use um, in the recipe that I put on the screen. So you can take a picture of that or screenshot it if you can. I put in my heavy cream. I stirred this in really, really well. It looks very thin at this point, but it will thicken up. Just trust the process. Then it's time for the Parmesan cheese. Same thing with this. I just poured some in until it looked right, but I think it ended up being about a half a cup. So you're gonna really want to stir this and incorporate this. Make sure there's no clumps. Here I am like just breaking those clumps up and continue to stir. If you need to turn the heat up a little bit to get this all incorporated, you can and let some of that liquid evaporate so it can thicken. And same thing with the other recipe, just season with what you like. I just put salt and pepper in this. It really didn't need anything else. I didn't want it to be garlicky like the other recipe. I wanted those true flavors of the sage and the butternut squash to really come through and let those flavors really shine in this dish. And trust me, they did. I put in a little bit more of heavy whipping cream and more Parmesan cheese just to build up the sauce a little bit more for the ravioli and at this point it's really done once you incorporate that all in and let it sit for a few minutes so I started to put my ravioli in straight from the uh, pasta water and that pasta water will help thicken up the sauce too once they're all in there you want to ever so gently stir them in um, you want to make sure that none of them bust and the butternut squash gets out of the ravioli. So I nestled them all in and now it's time for more cheese. I used um, Italian blend cheese and just put a good layer on top of it. Then I put it in the oven for about 20 minutes and really let it get golden on top. And y'all, it looked amazing. The smell, everything. It was just 10 out of 10, and I'm going to show y'all just how good it was when I first tried it in this clip. That is like the best thing I've ever cooked in my life. Oh my word. That 
that is like mind-blowingly good fall and a bowl like these flavors are so good it's like nutty and savory it gives it like a, a sweetness Ten out of ten.